Well, we're here in McGilligan um, today and we're visiting with some of the people um, who have been working here in the sewing bee. Um, so they've been spending their time during the COVID-19 crisis um, here in one of the areas where we have housed more vulnerable prisoners, people with complex needs. And in order that people would be able to help make a contribution to the community, um, the guys have been stitching scrubs, they've been stitching wash bags, they've been stitching bags that people can carry syringe drivers and drain bags and so on. And and it's really a credit, I think, um, to the staff in the prison, just how innovative and creative they are. We saw the, the, the demand that there was from the NI scrubs and the nurses couldn't get face masks. The men stepped up and wanted to do something to give back to the community. We had obviously got sewing machines already in this house previously to give them little projects to do and to keep their, them occupied. But we just, we ramped it up at that point. The orders are still coming in. They felt they're, they're playing a big part in the community. They're wanting to give back. And the, the fact that there's pictures coming in of the nurses wearing the scrubs, it does give them a great sense of achievement. So our staff were still involved in the day-to-day -day care activities that a prison officer involved in, and also in managing this unit. And they worked with the men in order to put a rota in place identify what was the most urgent and prioritise that work to be done, then get that transported back out into the community. And then they put out a service-wide appeal uh, right across each of our establishments looking for material which could be used in order to to make uh, further items uh, which continues right up to this day. I think that sometimes in our prison system our officers are the hidden heroes because people drive past McGilligan sometimes or they drive past the outside of the prison and they don't see anything beyond the wall. They don't know the fantastic innovative creative work that goes on inside our prisons in order to challenge people um, who are inside the system but also in terms, to, uh, in terms of offering them support um, for their mental health and well-being and the, the hope of rehabilitation.